Hey, what's going on, my friends? How are ya? Hiker Dave N.E. here. Um, I've been doing a little bit of looking at all these different areas, kind of scouting out some areas in New Hampshire um, around where I live, and there's no shortage of them, that is for sure. So I came here today to Fox Forest. I'm not even positive what town. I think I'm in Peterborough, maybe. I'm not positive. But I'm going to take a little look around here today, but I want to show you the, the trail info board here real quick. So while speaking with um, Inga, she is the caretaker of the area, I guess you could call her, we spoke about these bad Larrys. Um, they have been seen a whole bunch of them around here, and this was a sow with cubs last year, so her cubs may be larger now and I really don't want to run into a bear because I have this phobia of them, which I'm going to have to get over real quick. But here's the area. Uh, there's 23 miles of trails, and I can't wait to get to it. Um, I just parked here today, and uh, this is the headquarters here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this ridge trail for a little bit. Just a short jaunt. I'm going to take you guys with me. So... I'm kind of not really packed for a hike today, but I do want to take a peek into the woods here, uh, down this ridge trail. And I got to tell you guys, the bugs, holy jabroni, they are insane up here. But anywho, um, I'm going to cross the road here. And we're going to see what we see. I went for a little short hike yesterday. I made I made a video. Um, I haven't I haven't uploaded it yet, but it's coming. Uh, the ticks are absolutely insane. Anything you brush by here, anything any kind of uh, bush or branch that sticks into the trail, you're going to get a tick on you. It's really crazy. So I'm kind of. Just taking a peek here. Let's see what we're looking at here. It is so pretty up here, you guys. Um, I, I can't even describe it. The difference in the forested areas. Well, I mean, woods are woods. I understand that. So I, I'm not telling you anything new. I mean... Uh, I can, but I can, I can feel the difference in my lungs from the air up here, actually. Um, it, it is so much cleaner. The water straight from the tap is so clean up here. So I'm just going to take a little look here, a little look, see a short hike. Uh, so I was talking with Inga uh in the office and she said the bears up here just um don't get between the mother and the cubs which is something i was already aware of and um <clears throat> she said there if you run into one that's a little bit gimpy so to speak she said it has a little bit of a limp that it was possibly hit by a cow or somehow uh, it hurt its leg she said that one is not quite afraid of people and it will walk it will kind of walk right up to you and um i said oh that's great because i'm i'm really nervous of bear anyways ah oh, this is so thick out here a little collection of all right so let's not get crazy i i I, um, on my hike yesterday, I didn't see a ton of sign. I saw one tree break and some, uh, some stick leans and some tree leans. And I kind of was explaining that I believe that because there is such an ex a vast forested areas up here in the mountains, I think that it's going to be harder for me to find sign whereas in massachusetts 
it was more of condensed forested areas and it was almost like uh, uh you know i could walk into the woods a hundred feet and and find sign right off the bat and that is not the case here uh, up here in the in uh, in the mountains i'm finding that it is a lot less uh, condensed that I, I'm, I'm actually having to hike further. And, and my head is on a friggin' swivel because I'm scared of the bears. So, not scared of Bigfoot, but I'm scared of the bears. So naturally, when I was speaking with Inga, um, among with some questions about hunting season and um, how well the trails are marked, I of course had to bring up Sasquatch. And it, her response was interesting. She did not laugh. Um, she said, well, I've been in the woods up here in the mountains for 35 years, and she has never seen a Bigfoot, but she has heard some really strange calls in the forest. Although she did tell me about one of the younger kids that work here. He's in his mid-twenties. And he swears that he had seen one. Uh, it was about two years ago, she said. And he also has, on numerous occasions, found uh, tracks um, uh, cutting across the trail. And I find that very interesting. So uh, again, I'm not prepared. I don't have my backpack. I don't have uh, protection with me. I have nothing but a water bottle in my hand. But again, my plan is to only walk a few hundred yards in and then I'm going to turn around, and there's a few other places I want to check out uh, <clears throat> before, the, before it gets dark out. All right, it's starting to close in a little bit. I do not even have bug protection, uh, so the ticks are really going to be an issue. I'm going to go a little further here, and then I will probably turn back, um, swipe the ticks off of my legs. because that happened to me yesterday. I brushed by one branch and I had three ticks or four ticks, I forget what it was, on my leg. All right. Well, I never quite left the road. This trail just kind of follows the road for a little bit. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna head back and I'm gonna show you guys another spot that I wanna, I wanna go to. And I'm already checking for ticks. So I have talked to some other people up here, uh, bringing up the subject of, of Bigfoot. And it, I was pleasantly surprised to find out that it's not a joke here. Like it, like it is really, I find it, people kind of look at me like I'm a loony bin. When I, when I would be in Massachusetts and bring up the subject. So it was, it's refreshing, you know, where people um, that I've spoke to up here about Sasquatch, they have either seen one or they know somebody who has seen one or heard something that they can't quite explain, which is saying something for the people that live up here and have been up here of their lifetime out in the forest hunting and things like this, and when they say that they can't explain something, that means something to me, you know. And so I was, I was, uh, I was glad to hear that, or, or maybe, maybe I'm glad that I wasn't laughed at when I brought it up. So, so, hang in there, guys. Um, I got a couple of these videos coming out on me. I got to be me scouting an area. Uh, and then I'm going to start 
Then I'm gonna start to gear up and I'm gonna start making entire days, uh, day trips out into the forest. And I'm definitely bringing you guys with me because I've mentioned to you guys before, I, I, I don't feel like I'm alone when I'm making these videos. And it kind of helps me to feel, to bring you guys along and it kind of it comforts me in some crazy way thinking that you guys are with me. I know, I feel this is gonna be a challenge up here. I am not gonna just stumble upon sign and stick leans and, and sapling breaks. The little bit I have hiked so far up here, the past couple days, I haven't seen really anything. Very few things I've seen. So I think this, that I'm, I'm in for more of the same. So thank you guys for joining me on this short little, short little walk. And I did not get ravaged by a bear. So beautiful up, up in these mountains. I, I can't even explain it. So thank you again, you guys, for clicking. I do appreciate it. And I'll definitely see you on the next one.